who is not. Okay, so let me share my screen. You guys already know me, I'm Miss Harris. I am going to share sound. Oops, that's not what I want. Okay, so um, this is a, these are the things I want to go through. I'll tell you a little bit about myself really quick, and then I'm going to go through the academics and the schedule of second grade, and then I'm going to talk about the sacraments, and then I will discuss homework, which will include AR reading, prayers, agenda book, and the weekly report. Um, I am also going to talk about behavior field trips that will be super fast and then helpful websites um and then i can't read that one oh community project and then questions so they have a lot to discuss um hold on i want to see there we go i was trying to see your faces okay so um Okay, so I was born, I was born here in Whittier. I went to school at Our Lady of Guadalupe um, and Sonora High School down in La Habra. And I have taught kindergarten, second grade, fourth grade, and this is my 16th year of teaching. And I've been at Holy Trinity for four years and I love it. I think it's a great school. Um, I love the community here at this school. Um, I have, I do have my um, BA from San Francisco State University, and I got my clear teaching credential also from there. Um, so I'm fully credentialed, and I have a husband, Matt, and I have two kids who are, one is eight, and one is going to be 13 next week. And then um, I have my two little doggies, Lily and Bruce. So that's me in a nutshell. I just wanna, oh, some of my favorite things. I love art, music, I love being outdoors. I love my family, I love teaching, I love reading. And there's a picture of my family. Um, so that's just a little bit about myself. Um, I wanna go through second grade um, academics all. Let me let Anthony's dad in. Okay, um, he's still connecting. Okay, um, we teach all the California core, um, California standards and at Holy Trinity, we tend to teach up and we try to finish the whole curriculum and then continue on with um, challenging the students. This year, we're trying something new. We are going to do blocks. We're gonna do an ELA block and a math block for the kids who are maybe excelling in those areas or who need help. So with second and fourth grade, hold on. With second, third and fourth grade, um, we are all teaching reading, uh, grammar, um, math, we're all teaching that at the same time. So if we feel like a student did not master, um, let's say they didn't master second grade math standards and they're a third grader, they can come down and they can get more help so that they will have a more solid foundation. So um, that's why you see ELA block like at um, 940 and then you see a math block at 1240. So um, this is our schedule that I'll be sticking to because routines are great. So um, 8 to 8.15, we have our morning meeting, 8.15 to 9, religion. Very quickly, we'll go over our spelling and do some handwriting practice. 9.20 is recess. And then right after recess is when we'll do the ELA block. And so that will include grammar, writing, um, read, well, after that is when I'll do reading and writing. So ELA will be like maybe more grammar phonics. 
Um, then we have lunch, and then we have our math block, and then we have, um, I switch between science and social studies, so I'll do a unit of science, and then I'll switch, do a unit of social studies, back and forth, um, and I, I get through all the standards, even though I'll do one unit at a time. Wednesday is our mass day. It is going to be at 2 p.m., so Wednesday is when your child needs to come in formal uniform. And I forgot to put this on there. Tuesday is PE day. So we'll start this Tuesday. If you don't have a uniform, that is okay. But we'll start PE on Tuesday. Friday, um, Friday is 12-15 dismissal. So Friday is gonna be our assessment day. So after our morning meeting, we'll get our tests out of the way. So we always have a spelling test, a vocabulary test, and then um, usually a short math and grammar test of what we have learned um, that week. And then we'll have recess, and then I will throw in some ELA, whether it's reading, grammar, um, and then we'll do some math. And I do want to save some time for art or music on Friday. And then Fun Friday Club is 15 minutes where the kids who have behaved um, nicely during the week, they will um, get like free choice time. I have games, I have, um, we could draw, they can, um, um, we could read. Um, so something where they get to choose and have some fun. Um, I have a marble run that the kids love or have Uno, something where we can play. Um, play some fun games. And then 1215 is dismissal on Friday. So I printed this out. So you will get a copy of the schedules um, tomorrow. Okay, sacraments. Um, anything I need to know? I just need to know, do you want your child to make the sacraments and or is your child baptized? So um, that I do need to know. From what I understand, I think everyone is participating. So, um, I have a sacrament handbook that you will receive in the blue folder, and it answers every single question. So I wanted to give you the dates so that you could already put them in your calendar. So reconciliation happens early. It's November 15th, and First Holy Communion will be in May. Prior to reconciliation and Holy Communion, Father usually likes to meet um, with parents and the kids. So um, in the sacramental handbook, um, it says the dates that father would like to um, meet with all of us. And we have a First Holy Communion, um, like little retreat where um, everyone comes on a Saturday. It's really nice. Um, but all the questions about what to wear, um, it's all in the handbook. And there's lots of good, um, Miss Lloyd does a nice, a nice. Um, she does a nice handout answering questions that, like maybe your child may ask um, about receiving the Eucharist. So that is for the sacraments. Um, okay, wait. Before I get to questions, I want to go over some other things. But let me. Yay, this is going to be a great year. Let me stop sharing so I could see um, the screen. There you go. Um, I want to go through some of the things that you will receive in the blue folder. So the kids have done a couple of assignments in class. And so I already gave you back two pieces of paper. And so about once a week or once every two weeks, you'll see some paper come home, some papers come home and there'll be a paper on top. And that's just so I know that you've seen their work. So all you gotta do is sign it and just return this. You can keep all the papers, recycle them at home or whatever, save some of the cute ones. Um, so I will send home work so you can see how they're doing. And then, um, okay, so I have the, the schedule for you. This is the sacramental preparation handbook. It's um, pretty thick at some point, go through it, but I just want you to save those dates. And then I included a glossary of math terms. So when, um, Every 
Monday. Every Monday, I'll give you a weekly newsletter of what we're studying for the week. And so um, maybe if we're doing a unit on geometry, I may um, let you know some words I expect your child to know. And so here's a glossary of all second grade math words. So um, I thought that would be handy for you guys to have. Also, there are lots of vocabulary in religion that your child is going to need to know by the end of second grade, and they are hard, hard words. So um, I'm giving you a copy. I will go through these words throughout the year with the kids, um, and we'll talk about what they are and I will quiz them on these words. But I wanted to give you a copy of all the words because um, it's good to know. I mean, some of them are pretty tough. So that's for you. And then I have spelling. Um, for spelling, we have spelling every week. I like the kids to, um, there's an online, um, an online part they can do, they could do their homework and practice words online, but some kids are just maybe tired of iPads. Well, I kind of doubt it, but um, if they want to do homework in a different way, I like giving the kids a choice. So um, they could do some homework here if they'd like. So I'm just giving the choice board in case you need ideas or... Um, Kid gets tired of doing a certain thing, they could switch it up and do homework, um, a different kind of spelling homework. And then if I give vocabulary, same thing, it's a choice board. So um, your child could have choices of um, what to do for vocabulary. Now, I know um, you've already seen the agenda books. I don't have one here, but they're the white agenda books. And every day ask for all of the kids to write their hi. So hi. I don't know who I'm saying hi to. Who am I saying hi to? Sophia. Sophia. Oh, hi, Sophia. Um, hi. So Miss Lloyd wants them to get in the habit so that it becomes just routine of writing the homework in the agenda book and the parents are supposed to sign the agenda book. So every day the kids have to read 20 minutes. So that's why this week I'm starting homework on Monday because that's when homework club starts. But every day this week they were supposed to read 20 minutes of AR. So AR means um, um, accelerated reader. So you need to read and then the kids need to take a quiz after they've read. And I've seen, we did, um, we did a test today and they did really good. So I wanna get them in the habit of knowing the site, how to log in. And the kids who have been at Holy Trinity are pretty good at it. It's when you're new, like when I was new at the school, I had no idea what AR was, I had no clue. And it took a while to get used to it, but um, all the kids here, they know what AR is, they know the site, they know how to log in. And then you take a quiz on what you read and it gives us a really good bird eye view of um, how they're comprehending, um, where they should be, what level they should be reading at, um, and it keeps them, um, it keeps them reading and, it's amazing. We've seen how much kids have grown by just reading every day. Um, so that is going to be homework every day. I'm also going to have them do spelling every day and not vocabulary, but usually it'll be two pieces of paper, usually one ELA assignment and one math assignment. And it should be things that they need minimal help. I want them really to start getting more independent with not like relying on mom or dad or grandma, grandpa um, for, to do homework. I really want them to be able to do it on their own. If your child stays for homework club, I try to get all the homework done while in homework club or the teacher who is there. So the teachers rotate. So for homework club this year, it's going to be second, third and fourth together. So they will be in either in the pavilion or in a classroom together, and there'll be one teacher. Ooh, my light just went off. Let me see if I can get it on. Hold on. Okay. So um, 
there'll be one teacher supervising and um, those of you guys who are new to Holy Trinity, it's really nice. It's a good time for kids to just get their homework done. And then you can pick up your child anytime between, um, I mean, between three and four. So, um, I mean, you wanna get them started. So 3.30, I would say 3.34, it ends at four. And then if your child needs to go to daycare from there, I'll just walk them over to daycare. Um, a good way to communicate with me is through the weekly, if you write me a note. Um, Dojo, I um, use Dojo a lot. I haven't this week only because I wanted to make sure everyone is on, but Dojo is um, a format. It's kind of like Facebook for a classroom. Um, you can put pictures up. You can communicate me um, very easily. I use Dojo in the classroom, so I usually get messages the fastest on Dojo. Like, for example, if your child forgot their lunch and you message me on Dojo, I'll usually see it faster than an email. Um, and if it's something that can wait for an answer till after school, you could write it on the weekly. And I see the, I check the weeklies every day. And if you wrote me a note, I'll write you back. Um, so those two things you need to remember to sign, the weekly and the agenda. And then just, um, Look over their homework. Um, the last thing in the blue folder are the prayers. These are the prayers your child will be responsible for in second grade. And I wrote the month that we're gonna practice the prayer and the month that I will test them on the prayer. So I gave you all the prayers, that way you have um, a hard copy. So if you wanna practice, um, so this is kind of your little information folder. You guys can keep at home. Um, in a safe spot um, that will help you out with some of the academics of second grade. Um, I said I was gonna talk about field trips. Usually I walk to the um, library, but so far I don't think we're allowed to do anything. So as of now, no field trips. They're not allowing us to have buses, but um, I used to love going to the library. The kids loved it. Um, let's see, what else I think? Um, Miss Lloyd is being very strict on um, uniform this year. Last year, not so much, just because we wanted kids to come and kids grew over quarantine. So um, for uniform, the kids today, I looked them over, they look great. I just reminded, I just had to remind a couple girls to not wear jewelry. Um, earrings were supposed to be stud earrings, but everyone's shoes, this is the first year this has ever happened. Everyone had all black shoes. They looked great. Um, uniform looks good. So somebody did ask me, a kindergarten parent asked me about coats. If it gets, when it gets really cold, it gets really cold in the pavilion where they eat. They can wear a different kind of coat outside, but when we come in, then they will have to take it off. But usually in the classroom, the temperature is fine. Um, but outside, it really does get cold um, underneath the pavilion. So they could wear um, a bigger jacket, that's fine. Um, let's see, so AR uniform. Tomorrow, I'm sure you guys heard, tomorrow they're collecting $1 for um, Haiti for the earthquake um, relief. So if your child would like to wear play clothes, free dress, just bring in a dollar. Um, they were excited. I told them about that today. They were excited. Um, oh, community project. Each classroom is responsible for a community project. Um, in the past, I have done the kids have, we've made lemonade and we sold lemonade and donated the money to missions. Um, a couple years ago, we did a cardboard arcade, which was so much fun. And we donated the money to um, a charity. So um, we need to do a project. So I, the reason why I let parents know is because if there is something that is near and dear to your heart or your family's heart, like um, breast cancer awareness or um, Alzheimer, if there's something that's really, um, that you're very passionate about, let us know and we can um, maybe do something for that charity or we can maybe raise money for that charity. Um, I'm open to doing things that are, um, that are meaningful to the class, to the kids, to the class. Um, 
If I send home any projects like a book report, I'll let you know plenty of time in advance. If ever you have questions, just contact me. Um, I know it's harder to talk to me in person because of the way pick up and drop off is now, but um, you could write it on the weekly or email me or dojo message me. Or if you'd like to come and make a meeting, uh, I'm here at 7.15, I'm usually here till, I'm here till 3.30, usually later. Um, okay, let's see, how about any questions? I talked about the main things and I know they're gonna shut me down at 6.30. So I wanna leave time for questions if you have any questions, especially um, my new families. Um, I hope the transition was okay. The kids are so, this class is so cute. They're so nice to each other. Um, and we've been getting to know each other. It's, it's been really nice. But does anyone have any questions you'd like to ask me? Yes, Mr. Marquez. Hi, Ms. Harris. Um, not really a question. Just wanted to say that Isley had an amazing time last year in your class, and I look forward to Anthony, you know, experiencing something similar. Uh, her confidence and just, it was through the roof, you know, I just wanted to uh, make sure that you were aware that we appreciate you and, and, you know, don't tell this to the other teachers, but you are definitely uh, the coolest teacher and yeah, so we're we're fortunate to have you for one more year in our in our family and uh and yeah, just good luck and, and thank you for caring for these children, you know, as much as you do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I know your wife told me because um you, oh gosh, I can imagine the things you heard on Zoom last year. <laughs> um, but she was saying that gosh, my patience level must be crazy. I was like, yeah, I, I, and Miss Lloyd always says that. I'm very patient. But then my poor kids, I feel like I get home and I'm like, oh, you haven't done your homework. Oh. <laughs> I think I let it out at home. But um, no, th thank you. This is, I'm really excited about this year. So hopefully, hopefully everything, numbers go down. Hopefully um, we don't have to go back to hybrid, but you know, we'll see. Maybe wintertime we will need to do it for a while, but um, you know, we're all resilient. Oh, you need to unmute. Oh, so sorry. I have a question. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I picked it, but I didn't. Um, maybe I may have missed this because I was a couple minutes late. <clears throat> PE, are they doing PE? As of uh, now? Tuesday. Oh, so, Tuesday. Um, okay. Tuesday, she can go ahead and wear her PE uniform. Um, the first few weeks, we need to practice for fall follies. And you, um, the new families, fall follies is a time that we get together out in the yard. Each class does a performance. And then um, it's just a nice night to get together. Um, Miss Lloyd totally understands if it's out of your comfort level and you know you're not going to come that night, um, you could let me know and your child can learn the dance if you just want them to exercise a bit. But if you know you're not going to come, um, I could also maybe if it's a really hot day, they can sit in the shade and read a book or something. Um, but if it's a really hot day, actually, we'll practice in the classroom. But um, a lot of times we practice outside so so it's a night in september um it's usually like six o'clock the whole school um comes together in the parking lot and each class does a performance it's really cute so we'll see how it goes this year yes um uh miss harris my question is uh, what if like uh winter time they can they can wear a uh, thermal inside yes. or not yeah if they have what color yeah they can have something underneath um oh that's a good question um I believe it says it in the handbook, or I can ask Miss Lloyd, because um the kids can wear thermal long sleeve shirts underneath their uniform shirt 
Um, but let me double check on the color because I do not remember if it's a certain color. I actually uh, read about it. I think it's uh, it's a white turtleneck. My question was, it, can it be thermal? Because I know Michael yeah. doesn't like the, <laughs> yeah. the it kind of restricts them. So yeah. can it be thermal or just strictly turtleneck? Because that's what I read. No, it can be a thermal. OK, okay. great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, oh, and then what I was saying about PE. So we will start on Tuesday and then after fall follies, then we'll get into more PE curriculum. But for the first couple of weeks, um, we're going to be practicing, but they can start wearing their PE uniform on Tuesdays and then formal uniform on Wednesdays. So Tuesday and Wednesdays are the only days where it'll be a you know, different kind of uniform. And I will put that on the weekly. On Monday, I'll give you a weekly report of what we're studying and every day um, what you need to be aware of, um, like PE or like say tomorrow is the $1 Haiti relief free dress. So I'll put little reminders for you um, at the beginning of the week. Yes. So I know you mentioned that they can they can wear jackets outside at that pavilion. Does it have to be the school jacket or you said it can be any like thick jacket during the winter? Uh -huh. It could be okay. any thick jacket, but then when they come in the classroom, they'll have to take it off. So okay. Sometimes that thick jacket, sometimes you need something warmer. It gets yeah. <laughs> cold um, under the pavilion. Exactly. Thank you. And those jackets are expensive. <laughs> um, any other questions? I know. Think now while you have me. But you can always ask me any other time. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I need to tell you. Um, if your child is going to go to homework club and if they, have, um, if they have an extra pouch, if you could give the pouch, um, put it in their backpack, I would like to put supplies for them in the pouch. That way they have a pencil box in their desk and then they have a pouch for homework club with like eraser, pencils, um, crayons, glue, anything that they may need if they're on the run doing homework somewhere else. So if you do, if not, I'll get um, Ziploc bags, the easy ones. But if you do have an extra one laying around, because uh, my kids have, gosh, they have like four or five pencil boxes around the house. Yes. Is it okay? I, because I have extra uh, pe uh, uh, pencil case. Is it okay, Miss Miss Ari? Yes. Yeah. Just throw it in their backpack, and um, I think over the weekend or something, I'll try to put together um, an extra one for them. Thank you. Hi. Uh -huh, you're welcome. So, um, you guys on Zoom. Look for this, I'll put it in your child's backpack and it will have um, the things I discussed and then, um, you know, a couple cute little pages, um, only two pages so far. I have some stuff up in the classroom, but you'll get it, you'll get it soon enough. They're so cute. We did, a, um, I don't know if you can see, we did a, oh, kind of see over there. We did an all about me book. It was really cute. They um, so I'm starting to learn who likes pizza, who likes fried chicken, who likes uh, what was another favorite hamburger. I got one sushi. Um, so they're cute. <laughs> Anything else? If you feel like you missed anything, I'm recording this. You can watch it again. Um, but really, a lot of the information's in here, and I'll send it home. Um, and then always, I mean, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and I sent um, those of you guys who were here in school already last year, I think Dojo already connected you. But if you're new to the school, I don't think it did. And it sent an email. Um, however, 
it only sent an email to one address. So I can send it to another address. Um, so if you did not get an invite to Dojo, um, I can print something out so you can be invited. Because um, it's a nice way to see pictures or um, contact me very easily. All righty, so it looks like I'm gonna have a split group. I, that's what I thought. I thought I would have half on Zoom and half maybe here. So um, thank you for showing up on Zoom, in the comfort of your home. I would have done Zoom. <laughs> um, but this is gonna be a great year. I'm very excited and um, it's so special. Father already came to introduce the new seminary. Um, who's here helping and he was just saying how second grade is just so special because they get two sacraments so um, it's really nice it's going to be a great year and so I did tell the kids they're going to get three religion books so we get one for reconciliation one for the whole year and then one for first communion so um, I'm waiting for the reconciliation they should come next week because I really want to get started on that um and then, you know what, well, you may see this book. They are allowed to write in it. Um, and then math, they don't have a book, but I'll have packets. And then um, reading, we're gonna start our first novel on Monday and they'll have, a, they'll have a packet that goes with the novel, but we'll do that in class. And then um, vocabulary. I think I'm just gonna let them write in the book because I have so many extra. I think I'm just gonna let the kids have the books and write in them because why not? <laughs> it makes it easier <laughs> and I have so many. So, um, so you may see a couple of books. If they are not allowed to write in something, I will let you know. But so far, I think they're gonna be allowed to write in all the books. Um, the novels, I do ask for them back so I can use them again with another class. So um, we talk about how we handle books and how to care for them. So, um, you know, um, those ones I will ask. And, we'll, and I believe we'll read one, two, three, four. Um, we'll probably read about five or six novels together. And then... Um, our other reading will be either packets or I do have a reader, a reading book, like a class, a thick book. So we'll go back and forth and do different things. All right, I better stop. It's already 634 and um, people are gonna start coming in the pavilion. So thank you, thank you for coming. Thanks for your questions. And if you think of anything else, go ahead and um, just contact me. Right. Ms. Harris, one last thing. Yes. So instead of jazz this year, I want a little rhythm and blues. Oh, just, okay. a thought, just a thought. Okay, all right. I could do that. I know I tell the kids I love music. We um, learned about jazz last year and we learned about Duke Ellington. And, um, okay, rhythm and blues. I'll put that in my memory bank. Thank you, Ms. Harris. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Harris. You. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye.